this is my fleece, scoured fleece that's been soaking in water with a bit of citric acid and a bit of um, fixative A in it. Just pull a bit of stuff out. Okay, so as you can see, it's compacted down quite a lot. It's not so fluffy. I'll just pull out a few bits of vegetable matter while I'm at it. Okay, so we're going to dye these. I've laid a bit of palette wrapping because I'm going to wrap it up in that because um, instead of a plastic bag or anything. But you can do this in a like one of those flat under bed containers, they're pretty good. And then in the summertime I would normally put it in one of those and leave it outside in the sunshine and um, it would set, rinse it out the next morning. But because it is quite cold here at the moment, in the middle of winter, and I think it's about 15 degrees outside, it's a beautiful sunny day, but it was 1.4 degrees this morning, and it's now, I think, 15 degrees. So these dyes are meant to set. They're, they are cold set dyes, but they generally need to have a daily temperature or an ambient temperature of about 23 to 25 degrees to set properly. So I'm going to steam these for about 15 minutes to make sure they get to that temperature and then I'll just leave them sit overnight and I'll come back tomorrow morning and um, rinse them out and show you how they look. All right, so they, they, I have just pressed them down in the mesh bag on a colander to drain most of the water out, but they're not fluffy and dry. There's still quite a bit of water in them. So I'm just going to start putting dye on these and go through like a rainbow. So these are all earth palette dyes. And I'm just going to do the turquoise first, the, rubon, uh, the chartreuse, which is not an earth palette color, but it's a pretty simple one to make with yellow and a bit of turquoise. And I'm just going to touch the turquoise a bit so that the, I get a bit of um, cross coloring there. Then I'm going to do yellow. Orange. Because the Earth palette dyes, sorry, this is um, brilliant red. Because the Earth palette dyes have a thickener in the powder or the dye it um it helps to coat the fibers especially when you're dyeing fleece so that the dye don't just sort of sink through to the bottom of it and pull underneath and make brown so i'm going to go back and use a bit more turquoise here and finish up with the chartreuse Now I'm going to press it down a little bit to see just so that it sort of soaks into the other colours and I'm going to choose my colours so that I don't cross contaminate things. I'm going to choose do the lighter ones first and then move to the slightly darker ones. Because this is fleece I'm not really too concerned about a bit of um, colour color mixing between them. Okay, so and I'm tipping the bottom is not is going to be fairly white. So I'm just wondering whether we might turn it over. Okay, so I'll start this end and I'm just going to turn the whole lot over. Although it looks like it's soaked in fairly well. I don't know if I really need to. Might put a little bit more of the purple on. So I'll just touch up the colour a bit. A bit of turquoise here, a little bit more turquoise on here, but the colour will mix, soak through as it's going through the steaming process there and you know the setting process. Where are we? Very yellow, a little bit of yellow.
I wouldn't worry too much about the, the white. Actually, this is pink, sorry, not um, brilliant red. A little bit of purple. And then I am just going to wipe my hands in between so I don't move my colours between all the sections. But it, there will be a little bit of mixing between them. And then I'm going to, you could, I, you could use plastic garbage bags to do this, or Glad Wrap. This is actually pallet wrap, which is really good, sticks together really well. I'm gonna tuck the ends in and just give it a squish down. Now, as I said, in the, if this was summer, I would actually just leave this in the sunshine. Get my container. But being the middle of winter, I'm actually going to put it in a stock pot with a rack in the bottom. And I'd also have like a baking sheet or an alfoil baking sheet that I put on top of that rack. And I sit this in it. And I will steam this for about 15 minutes just to get it as a, at a warm temperature and then I would leave it overnight and rinse it out tomorrow morning. So I'll come back tomorrow morning and show you how it is once I've rinsed it out and um, it's ready for drying. So this is the fleece out of the mesh bags. Once it's been rinsed, set um, I stinged it for about 15 minutes and then just left it in my stock pot overnight. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, sorry, in the background you can hear the truck driving. I think my husband's shifting machinery around down the sheds. So it's actually really pretty rainbow actually. So you can see the turquoise. <coughs> oh, excuse me. And then we had the chartreuse. And the purple, I think we might have had it. I don't even know how we had it anymore. The pink, the orange, the yellow, the chartreuse, and then the turquoise again. So, um, pretty cool. Um, it'll fluff up quite a lot more once it's dried. And um, I'll show you, I'll bring it back and show you. Oop, that's a bit stuck together on the ends there. But that'll come apart easy enough to spin or to blend or I don't know I think it looks pretty just like it is I might have just put it in a bowl and put it on my table and look at it so anyway I shall come back when it's totally dry and show you how it looks then so here's our fleece it's not 100% dry yet but it's pretty good and it's fluffed up quite a lot good we've got a great range of colors and this is the one that we did the the five different colors. We use yellow, turquoise, yellow, chartreuse, orange, pink, purple, turquoise and a little bit of chartreuse again. But the colors have blended and mixed together so we've got a, a great range of colors in amongst it the, um, where the chartreuse and the orange have mixed. The orange and the pink can see the individual staples and I can feel it's a bit damp on the end still so it'll fluff up a bit um, still over the next day or two while it's drying but yeah I'll be pretty happy to spin this I don't even know if I'd make it into bats I think I'd just spin it like it is you know um, so yeah so have a go at dyeing your own fleece it's pretty satisfying to have a nice beautiful fleece like this and you're the boss of it just remember that you tell it you're the boss of the dying have a go at it hope you've enjoyed this video as well um, I've got a few more coming up over the next few weeks but feel free to give us a like and um, subscribe if you're happy for me to keep going and I'll see you next time